I'm just going to read the first few pages of Friedwart Winterberg's textbook to you. It is appropriate that this, the first volume in the Fusion Energy Foundation series of books on the frontiers of science and technology, should have as its subject the basic physics of thermonuclear explosions. The tremendous energy released from fusion reactions defines the most advanced aspects of strategic and economic policy for the last decades of the 20th century. It has be been an unavoidable fact of life since the Manhattan Project that fusion science has been closely associated with research on thermonuclear weapons. Wow. The H-bomb first brought this process of fusion to public attention. Let's go. Two decades before scientific advances have brought fusion energy to the threshold of energy break even. The H-bomb, right there. The H-bomb was the source of fusion even becoming a thing, even an idea. The H-bomb led to fusion research. Why? We know why. They figured out space wasn't empty. They figured out infinite energy, and they hit it. They hit it. The solution to the originally formidable problems of substantial energy release from weapon systems has been an integral part of the advancement of controlled fusion, particularly in inertial confinement fusion. Let's effing go! Inertial confinement fusion, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The exact kind of fusion that we've been talking about, the one that George Miley's working on, that Frank Mead were working on, the one with the plasma, all that, that exact kind, that's the kind that they're hiding?